Now that it's secured in the shop, I can sit on it. Ooh, I am burning up out here. Well, you probably won't be because you'll be inside watching this video in the nice, cool air on your big screen TV. With air conditioning. Our barn is none of the air conditioning or anything. <laughs> but at least it has one light and one window, two windows actually, and one tractor and all the junk. Did I mention we actually did make a video of this tractor, but we couldn't upload it because that's when the SD card died. And we never got the footage of getting this running. If you don't believe me, just search that looks about right tractor video and you'll find none. And in a minute, Dad might wheel over his sportster. One sec. Ta da! Onto. Yeah. Ta da! And this cover can be slid so you can work on it. How do you move this thing, Dad? Good. Open up this cover and work on it. Let's get the sportster ready. Put sportster on this. So what are we gonna put on it then? The ones you're working on. Suzuki. Yep. And when he says Suzuki, he means this Bearcat project. You can find it by looking at. That looks about right, Suzuki Bearcat video. Or looking on our channel and selecting it there. And just in case you haven't watched them, this is a view of it. Just, I call it a street woods bike. Because this sprocket allows you to go on the street this little gear and in the woods on this big gear. And it has two master links so you can take out a section of this chain and put it on this little gear. Sorry about Dad. He's just moving his stand. New old stand. This is a condenser. And it was bad. And we took off the flywheel. And here he is putting on the foot pedal. I don't know why you got up there. That's you now. It's all you. Don't jump on that foot. Don't jump on that pedal. It'll go down. You're wearing me out, man. Uh, <coughs> I'm the only cameraman who needs to be picked up. You're wearing me out, dude. You're wearing me out. Let's get a view of the world up top. Alright, I'm gonna move it once you get out from under it so I can finish what I'm doing. You're goofing off, but I'm trying to do it. It's gonna go right where this tractor is eventually. Wait. I think. Put it right either that or where the sprint is, one of the two. I like this service cover. Yep, that diamond plate. It's supposed to give you traction, but it's more slippery than you think. It's kind of slippery. All right, see if it goes down. 
Yeah, yep. from under it. He says it goes down real fast. Probably goes down faster with weight on it, right? Push it. I'm just trying to see how slow it'll go down, dude. <laughs> Strap, the bikes in here? Mm, there's some in the truck. Here, uh, got those kind. I got this uh, camouflage one here. Shorter ratchet straps, you know it? <laughs> now we just put the kickstand down. And the crank the wheel closed. The handle there. Crank the wheel. The hand wheel. Okay, you're filming the floor there. Let's get your forward here. Do it. There. there we go. All right, three button. I'll get. It. Okay, I'm gonna get you on a stand. You don't want to move at all. And no viewers, do not ask in the comments why I decided to film us doing this. They got to adjust, they got to adjust way up to the fat boy, I think. We might have to adjust our arm over here to be alright for now. Yeah. It'll be okay for now. They had a Harley Davidson fat boy. We'll adjust it. We need a... Short straps. I don't know if we have any though. You can get these viewers securely secured in the stand. There we go. Just testing her out. I don't think we even have parts for this thing yet. We'll just see if it raises it up good and all that, right? I thought I had another rest of strap somewhere, but maybe I don't. Didn't we have a whole pile of bungees and ratchet strap piles somewhere? Stacked up someplace? At one point we might have. Oh man, like where in the barn are they now? Why are you asking me? Because you're always messing around the barn up here, you didn't know where they were. You're I don't know attention. where they are. You've been paying attention. I know there's a big pile of bungees and whole lot of them somewhere. I don't know where they are. Somewhere. Yeah, there <laughs> We have to adjust it almost all the way in to fit our little bear cat. Let's see if you're focusing. Hey, this will be perfect for the videos. I don't have to adjust the camera very much, and there now they're staring right at our last project's lay off point. 
You guys are gonna like getting a good view of things. Well, we need to probably go forward on these straps. We might be too far back. We'll have to see. We have to move our hooks forward. We'll see. We've got to be that tight. Ain't gonna go nowhere. Just around the board a couple thousand times. Probably do good enough for us. We don't really lift up that heavy a bike, right? Yep. You don't lift up very heavy bikes anyway. It'll probably just fine for us. I think we're going to lift up a Ford F 350 with it. I don't think it'll lift that. It'd definitely cause us some trouble, wouldn't it? Maybe a 1941 Ford pickup? And it would not pick up a Ford pickup here. Quit being silly. Not going to pick that bike, that truck up. You kind of made up a joke yourself and you won't pick up a pickup. <laughs> Alright, so your bike is on it. Move your bike. I was just going to ride on it. I don't know if the bike will fall off. You going to catch it when the bike falls off? Uh, I'll sit back here. Dude, you're going to get hurt. Going up. Alright, when you talk, take these lugs down here, these blocks, we're not, we're not supposed to have it on the caster, so we want bikes on it. So we'll put these down real quick. Get it off the casters. Check, see if it's level, but it's level enough for this little bike, right? Yeah. Locking pin goes in like that. I don't know. I think you need to go up a little higher. Yeah. All right, a little higher. It's only got two stops. Not high, very high. You go up a little higher. Let's see if we got it. High enough here to put the lock in it. Dusty. Okay. I'm gonna see if our little work door still opens. Uh, probably will. All right, let's get it locked on the let's hold on, move button, let's get it on the lock. It should stop when it hits there. There we go. Take these off so we don't keep banging our shins and ankles into them, you reckon? Yep. Take those both off. And now we'll get you up on the beer kit. The service 
drawer is probably going to be completely useless. Well, I don't know if it'll be good for this or not. You're going to knock that off. That thing is heavy. Let me get this garden stuff out of the way that Mom left. Big bin. Let me get that away. Shun. Let me see. All right. Look at that. You looking at the camera? It looks like you're looking at the tire. Is it on? Yeah, it's right on the magneto. All right, looks like it wouldn't be, but okay. It looks like you're... Huh? That thing must aim funny. You're not really at the magneto. You're looking at the back tire where I thought you were looking. Hold on, I can't see through you. There you go. So now, when our condenser comes in, this, we can put that condenser on there and cut those wires and solder them back together. New condenser. I ordered a new coil too. I don't think it's the coil though. I think it's this condenser. Yep. And I'll be right over here. Let me get off the table. It's not for kids to play on. Making me regret it already, dude. Then how do they see me? How yeah. do I work the on it? The same way you can see my hands here. working on it. We'll adjust the camera. We also got magnet holders we can stick the table for the camera. Yep. Got a big magnet. We can stick it right there. I think they can't see you now, but all right. But yeah, we got a big magnet camera holder. We can sit there, we'll buy attachments, and then they can, we can just put the camera on the table. We can work on this, change the condenser, maybe change that coil, we'll have to see. I, I don't think that one's we'll, bad. We can we'll test take it. take these off for now. We can test it. No, we're gonna be monitoring the whole bike up. Huh. That's what keeps the bike from falling over. If the bike fell over from here, where would it go? It'd bust the bike up pretty bad, right? Yeah. So that's to keep the bike safe. What you're supposed to do is see these holes here? Yeah. We need another U-bolt. Then we get another one, and then we can hook the back up, and then when we're working on the front, we can use the back ones, and when we're working on the back, we can use the front ones. But you're supposed to always keep it tied, that way when the bike, if the bike falls over, well, it can't fall over, because if the bike fell off this table, it'd fall, what, three feet? Yeah. I'd break that tank and frame and handlebars all up. But it's also propped up by this. That doesn't hold it very well. It keeps it from sliding, mostly. Oh. How's that going to hold that whole tire? I mean, it, could, it, it holds it okay, but it could easily wedge out of there, couldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if I'll trust the TS100 kickstand enough for this. Well, that one will have to stay. It doesn't have a frame stand, so that one will definitely have to strap up because it'd be leaned, right? Yep. This should make it so we can work on stuff. At least the bikes, right? The four wheelers don't think they'll fit. It's only got a 26 inch or 27 inch span on the bed, so we'll get four wheelers on there. Might be able to get my bistro up there when we want to mm -hmm. work on it. We'll get the bistro up there. I don't know if we need it for the bistro. We can just lift that up and put it on the workbench, couldn't we? Yeah, but if we want to service the tire, I might be able to do it from this little cranny so I could like stand up instead of crouching down and I could just like sit underneath and ratchet on the tire. Move your butt. I'm going to get your back far enough. Get a picture of it. Oof, tripping on my lawnmower here. Dad's taking a picture of it. Maybe we can put it into this video. You want to stand by it? By the front wheel? Yeah, maybe I'll stand by the front wheel. Yeah, we'll stand by the front wheel. There we go. I can go all day. <laughs> yeah, a little farther forward. Where's the front of the bike? At the corner. At the corner of the... Right on the corner. Keep going. Keep going. Maybe you'll fall in directions. Alright, now turn my way. Jeez, dude, you don't fall directions good. Like. I don't know. I don't open them yet. Come on. Come on. Like that? I'm looking at that. <laughs> Alright, you done taking a video? Yep. Let me get me a drink.